freezing, Lucy. Are you sure you wouldn't rather be back at my house watching Mysterious Eyeball Theater and eating kettle corn? I just refuse to believe that all evidence of the monster world completely vanished into thin air. From a scientific point of view, that's extremely improbable. So if we find something that proves this theory of yours, can we go home? Definitely! Because if I can find something really tangible, I'll be able to prove the existence of Repugia to the scientific community. You'll be a legend! The first fourth grader to win a Nobel Prize. Hey, let's not get carried away, Ev. Well, you certainly should win some sort of prize. I mean, you're just... Um, I mean, you're... you're... what? Well, I mean, I just think you're really... really... So cute. He has a little crush. Ooh, hey, that's something tangible. Great. All right, now let's see if you still work. I'll just run a quick diagnostic on this vocal apparatus. Can anyone hear me? Hmm, I wasn't expecting that. Uh-oh. Lucy? Lucy! Seriously, Everett, why do we need our costumes for this? We have to be prepared for the worst. Lucy's life is at stake here. But Dorian made sure that Darcilla wouldn't be able to open the portal again. Guys, look! A quarter! Um, Ranald, you might want to turn around. Ah! <laughs> This is bad. We have to go in there and get Lucy back. Ren, you go first. Nuh-uh. -nuh. Reynold, your face will scare away any monsters waiting to ambush on the, on the other side. You go first. The leader should go first. Not it. Not it. Not it. Ah, why are we wasting time deciding who goes first into that horrifying vortex of doom? Let's do this the fair way. Whoever I point at will be our leader, okay? Reynold, you'll be playing the part of Captain Courageous on tonight's epic adventure. Great, as captain, I order Ren to go first. Nice try. Don't forget to walk through the portal face first. Well, let's us choose our playable character again. And so then, the Grubbin says, Candy, but you hardly know me! <laughs> oh, haha, <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, Araxia. <laughs> yeah, Candy, I get it. Oh, please, spare the fake laughter. If you don't think my joke is funny, you can just say so. Okay, it's not even funny. It doesn't even make sense. Is that right? Well, maybe you just need to work on your sense of humor. Two weeks of bathroom duty should fix that. Oh man. Ooh, look! Kids! Finally, this portal is paying for itself! Alright, I'll just candy coat these twerps and then it's off to Big Bones! Did he just say Big Bones? Run! Lucy! Grr, these candy corn spells take forever to charge. Take care of those other kids, and maybe I'll reconsider the whole bathroom duty thing. I'm taking this one straight to the candy cage. Hey everybody, this is Jerichos, and welcome back to Costume Quest. We've started up the big DLC expansion, Grubbins on Ice, and immediately it kicks us into a battle we are not supposed to win. We're level 10, these guys are all level 14. It is possible to win, though. You have to play it smart. Let's see if I can do it. We want to start by attacking the Repugiarch Hurler. Yes, these Repugiarchs are our new monster type for the DLC. And that Hurler does a lot of damage. He's basically their new ranged guy. So, focus on taking him out. Try 
and do as much damage as we can as fast as possible to kill him off. We should be able to get him in just two turns, hopefully. And hopefully they won't focus their attacks on one person. Oh good, they've spread it out. Okay. As I said, you're really not supposed to win this battle it's somewhat luck-based. But, come on, Ren. Give me a good hit. Yes, we got him. All right. I might be able to do this. Now launch our specials. Let's put a shield up on Reynold since he's got low health. And I'll use Meteor Avalanche on the one with less HP. Hopefully kill him off faster. You don't get to choose your costumes here, but if you do have save game from the main game, your save data will affect this. You can start this without playing through the game, but it'll give you slightly lower stats. You'll only have one of the Candy Pail upgrades, and you won't have all the costumes you unlocked. Whereas here, since we've done all that, we have all our battle stamps, all of the costumes. We've even got every Candy Pail upgrade, so we're doing more damage. And okay, this is working nicely. Um, go ahead and have you attack him, because Ren will be able to take out this guy with one attack. There we go. Man, okay, Ren's been defeated. Yeah, they do a ton of damage, but keep playing smart, and we should be able to take him out. And the fire will kill him. All right. Now, if you lose this battle, nothing bad happens. But if you win, you get an extra 7,500 experience. But no matter what happens, he pushes you off the cliff. Those cheaters didn't even let us roll for initiative. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, true. Wow, do you really sneeze that loud? Yeah, geez, it sounds like you're just faking it to get attention. Oh, I love it. Oh, these trow bogs break our fall. All right, so we've landed, and we are now in Repugia. We have to get back to the top of the mountain, find Lucy. Now, it starts us out with a few stamps, but I want to switch back real quick to the stamps that I had before. Let's see, critical strike damage for Reynold, Everett with the Witch's Brew, and... The Moldy Pumpkin Guts will give to Ren. Ren has basically taken Lucy's place here. We have all our costumes. There's three new costumes to find here. A bunch of new creepy treat cards. And let's switch up. I want... I'll stick with my usual dream team of robot vampire unicorn. And here's a recruiter. More recruits from the sky. Did you come to join the revolution to help us overthrow Araxia? Revolution? Yeah, we've got one brewing. We're not really into Araxia's oppressive ruling style. Tell me about it. He just oppressed us off that cliff. If you can help us get our friend back, we're in. That sounds fair, but first we'll need numbers if we're going to take down Araxia's monster gate. How do we do that? I need you to go door to door to find some more recruits, and maybe get some candy donations. Whoa, that sounds just like trick-or-treating. We're pros at that. I knew you would be solid recruits. Just follow the path to town and start knocking. Also, headquarters is just ahead if you want to take on more for the cause. Viva Repugia! Alright, so we got to get Lucy back and we've joined the revolution to do so. What are you doing here? I collect dirt clods from my ears. It's, dude, so gross. Alright. But if you head up here, this big neon sign, this is the Secret Cave. Yes, this is the revolution's leaders. Are you the leader here? What's a leader? Oh, hey, nice disguises. You guys are good at disguises. 
We've had lots of practice. We had a disguise maker, but he was taken away by the guards. We found this on his desk. Get the pirate costume pattern. It is apparently his masterwork, but I can't understand how to read it. You were holding it upside down. See? You guys are out of my league. Maybe you'll have better luck putting it together. The materials are guarded by some trusted monsters in town. Find them, tell them that Cranston sent you. Alright, so... We gotta wander around, find some guards that will give us some can uh, some access to the costume materials. I'm in charge of diagrams. Yeah, this seems like a really well-organized revolution. Mm, eh, actually, they seem like they're screwed. We better help them out. So, if you head outside, look right next to the cave. Remember before, we had our friend Sadie selling us battle stamps. Well, here is a grubbin named Shady. We already have a bunch of awesome battle stamps. Please stop bothering us. Shh, keep it down, kid. You ain't got any battle stamps like these. We've been doing just fine so far without your smelly battle stamps. Oh, well, excuse me. You must have voluntarily jumped off that cliff earlier. My mistake. You couldn't have lost a fight with those sweet battle stamps. Hey, we did win that fight. Eh, but you're not supposed to. We were just seeing something. Yeah, we meant to do that. But just for the sake of argument, what kind of battle stamps do you have? Not so fast. You got candy? We got tons of candy. Now we're talking, check these babies out. And he will sell brand new battle stamps. Mummy gauze will increase defense. Deviled egg will put, it'll do damage and apply a fire damage over time to an enemy. Really good. So we want to get some candy and buy that. But we start out the DLC with no candy. So you got to grind some back up. We'll wander around here. There's lots of stuff to break. Weird ooze things, purple cacti, odd eyeball plants, smack everything and you get lots of candy. But as we head down here, let's see, there's a little mini maze, that way's a dead end. But go down this path and you find a kid who's hiding out here. You found me. Six of us were able to escape from Araxia's candy cage. It was terrible. They were going to feed us the big bones. Please, save the others. We have to save the escapees. Yep, it's basically hide and seek. Six of them, find them all, and you'll actually get a prize. And here, we have another costume pattern. The eyeball. So we're already on our way to getting two of our brand new costumes. If you head around to the right here, let's smack some of these cacti. Which, honestly look like they have gumdrops on them rather than spikes but fall down this pathway and you get to a little catwalk area just keep going down you can break this spot which will let you fall to the right but we want to first go to the left huh there's a strange zip line looking thing we can't do anything with that yet we'll come back to it and now head into this little cave in this strange cave, you've got lots of stuff to break, but wander around and you will find a treasure chest with a tracksuit in it. It's our first costume material for the eyeball. Now we got two pathways we can go, right and left. I'm going to go left because we'll actually come to the right one later. Break some more stuff. I really want to get that new battle stamp. And head out here, more candy, and somehow, even though we kept going down, we have emerged above the secret cave. Yeah, Repugia's cave system is a little weird. So, we've explored this first little area. Let's go over the bridge to the next one. What do you have to say? What's with the pagoda? I'm the eldest grubbin. That means I get a pagoda. Oh, I used to run this place, you know, but now I'm just Araxia's puppet. Sniff. Anyway, now is not a good time. I'm too distraught. Please go away. So he's not going to be any help. But here we are. We need to recruit for the revolution. Knock on the door. Viva Repugia! 
I find your revolution revolting. And we get a monster. It's just like the main game. Sometimes you'll get candy, sometimes you'll get monster attacks. What are we up against here? Alright, it's the same crew we fought back up on the cliff, but these are a little more level appropriate. Level 10. Much easier to take care of. Especially now that we've got our proper badges equipped instead of the ones the game gives you to start with. Alright. And you'll notice the champions are the melee fighters and the hurlers are the ranged. Pretty much same as before, except this time the hurlers actually do somewhat more damage, like more significant increase than the champions. Not a huge deal when they're closer to our level, but if you fight enemies that are a little higher level than you, it can cause some problems. That's why you want to make sure to kill the hurlers as fast as possible, and he's gone. Defend a couple times. I believe Missile Barrage should kill them both. Oh, one's still alive. Well, Everett will kill him. Alright. We start getting some new creepy treat cards, as well as some experience and candy. We got a save point here. Always helpful. You'll also notice there are a couple guards just walking around. So make sure you get ready to smack them in the back if you want to get that sneak attack on them. Here is a new enemy type, the Repugiar Cultist. Yep, he's the Black Mage. Usual rules apply. Get rid of him fast. I actually meant to attack the champion with Everett so that his poison would stay on it. Oh well, no big deal. He'll still die next round. Couple hits, and he'll be gone. Finish him off, Ren. Yeah, I like that, you know, considering you pick Reynold or Ren in the main game, it's a nice touch that they let you do that again for the DLC. And we've got over 600 candy. Let's go back and talk to Shady. Deviled Egg. This is wonderful. It's basically like Everett's attack, how it does an attack and poison, except when you use this special ability, it's fire damage. So you can stack the two damages on top of one enemy and do extra bonus. Really, really good for bosses. Let's knock on this door. Who's behind here? Our revolution was better than yours. Well, I'm not having much luck with knocking on doors yet. Yeah, just two enemies. Let's go ahead and take them out. Devil egg on your face. Yep, does nice 80 damage there. And fire and poison both. He's gonna be hurting. And we can just leave him alone and shift our attention to the Hurler, because the Fire and Poison will kill him off no problem. And, will that be enough to kill the Hurler? Let's find out. Oh, just barely not. 3 HP left. Let's go for some overkill and just blast him away with some missiles. Alright. I keep wandering around the lower side here. Let's knock on one more door and see what's going on in this house. I would have joined if I didn't have flat feet. Here's a donation to absolve my guilt. Yep. It's monsters who are giving us candy this time. A little bit funny. Hey, you look like you're wearing the revolution outfit. What do you have to say? Cranston sent me. Did he send me new orders? Have I been stationed somewhere else, sir? Yes, your new post is a few feet to the left. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> All right. 
all we had to do is do that to get him to move out of the way of the ramp. Open up this, we get an eye patch. First piece for the pirate costume. Head a little further on. Hey, another zip line, but can't do anything with them yet. We will find out soon. Cranston sent me. Weird. Cranston sent me too. Uh, do you have something for me? You mean like this ear scraper? That's a hook. Is that what you call it? Either way, I'm done with it. You can use it now. Gross. That's been in his ear. We got a plastic hook, so we're done with this little area. We'll have to come back once we can find a way to slide down zip lines. But first, let's knock on this other guard's back. Smack him and start this fight. Another couple weaklings. I'll start with the hurler this time. And I might actually this one I'll probably be able to kill him in just one turn since we got that early like that sneak attack. Yes, he's gone. Now that we're properly set up, these guys don't really pose too much of a problem. It can be fun to go through with the preset stats it gives you if you don't have save file from the main game. It can be a little bit more of a challenge, but I like being all powerful. Cake cod, treaty treat card. Alright, we hit level 11. Shady, what do you got for us now that we've leveled up again? He's got two new ones. Black Rose and Noxious Slime. So that's just like the previous slime, but does a lot of poison damage in addition to the splash. So we're going to want to grab that as soon as we have some more candy. Also, if we head to the right here, another guy dressed in the Revolution outfit. Cranston sent me. Good, I'm sick of guarding this stupid ramp. So he walks one step to the side. He joined the revolution to get the ladies. His name's Fungus. Like Fungus. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to mention you, Fungus. But ramp over. We have a treasure chest here with... Costume material. Newspaper. We get the pirate costume. Finally, we have a costume I like better than the robot. It doesn't move as fast, but it's great in battles. Hey, another kid hiding out here. I thought being candy would be cool until I walked a mile in its shoes. It sucks. It's our second one. And if we walk to the right here, we'll see a big gate. Sorry, I can't let you through this gate. Mainly because I don't know how it works. How are we supposed to get to Araxia then? Talk to the Grubbin Elder. He's old and wise and junk. He'll probably know how it opens. So, we encountered that Grubbin Elder. Let's go talk to him and find out how to open the gate. Hey, Mr. Elder, do you know how to open the gate at the edge of town? How can you talk about gates at a time like this? Can't you see I'm heartbroken over here? I didn't know if monsters had hearts. How did that happen? Well, I was dating the Repugiarch Elder's sister. We were so perfect for each other, and he forbid me to see her when Araxia took power. Gosh, that's so sad. So, about that gate. And now he's got the nerve to vacation with her in Grubbin Valley, at this hotel right next to my pagoda. How oh, I long to gaze into her eye cavities and caress her bony face. Oh, that's creepy. Hey, maybe you could sneak in there and get her back for me. I'll open that gate for you if you do. Anything for love, as long as it gets that gate open. Quickly now, I can see her stuffing her face at the buffet table near the pool over there. My baby sure loves food. No matter how much she eats, she stays bony. I wish I had her metabolism. Okay, so we gotta bring these two lovers back together. There she is, hanging out in this resort. But we can't get in there. The whole thing's walled off. What we need to do is head up here. You know what? Let's sneak up on this guy and show off the pirate costume. You are a cursed pirate. Pretty cool looking. And the pirate has a lot of similarities to the robot. It has the same damage increase. Has one one HP lower, which is funny little stat. Doesn't really affect much. But I'll focus my attacks here. I could spread out the damage, but I want to make sure to show off the pirate's special attack. Mm 
and defend a couple times. Let's take out this next champion. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's put deviled egg on your face on the other guy. <laughs> nice damage there. And... Time to use the ability Dead Men Tell No Tales. He summons his ship to blast the enemies. Now you can't tell because that guy was already on fire, but like the robot special, it applies a fire dot to the enemies. Hits all of them. It's basically the robot special, but a little stronger. So he's got the same attack power as the robots, practically same special, but a little more damage. You can see why I like it. And up here we have another zip line, but we've got a hook now. Well, let's try using the pirate's field ability to slide on down. And with that, we can enter into this little resort area. What do you have to say? You should come with me. I just talked to an old friend of yours that would love to see you. Not unless you have a good side dish to go with this meat fruit belch. Huh, well, she's hungry. Let's pull out our french fry costume and try to lure her away. This is so disturbing. I love it. As we head up here, we're above the hotel. We can knock this and lure her down. Bring her back over to the grub and elder. Where did that salty grease smell go? Baby, I knew you'd come back to me. Grubby, I didn't know you were here. I can't thank you enough, kids, but at least I can open that gate for you. And the gate's open. We're able to get through to the next area. Switch back to Robot just to get around. So we've hit up a few of the houses in the area, but there's a few more still to knock on. Let's check this door. And we get some candy. Not too bad. You'll see me switching back and forth between pirate and robot a lot. What do we got here? We got two houses we haven't hit up. Switch just in case it's a battle. I can never remember which of these two houses is a battle and which is friendly. Oh, well. It's going to bite our face. That's, dude, personal space issues. All right. And finally, we have the Repugiarch Priest. This guy is the white mage. Yep, exactly what you expect. Should, that should kill him when the poison hits, so let's go ahead and put the fire on the hurler. Don't prove me wrong, game. There, he's gone. Yeah, except for the fact that the robot can move a little faster in the field, the pirate is definitely my favorite costume in the whole game. I like the robot throughout the main game, since we don't get the pirate till here, but now that we've got him, I pretty much will use him for every battle here out and out. Alright, we got another door. Knock on this one. Who's behind here? He's happy to help? Good. Give us some candy. And you may have noticed, got a little cliff edge here that we can fall down! Gives us a treasure coffin with another custom material, crepe paper. It's the second part for the eyeball, so we've almost got our full costume there. And after we fall down here, head back in the cage, this should look familiar. Remember when I said there's no need to go right? That's the room we were just in, the room to the right of here. So, we head back around, drops us out by the secret cave, let's go talk to Shady and buy that battle stamp. The Rotten Pumpkin Guts. I definitely want that. And let's give that to Reynold. That way everybody will be applying damage over time to enemies. Now remember, we had another zip line over here that we didn't know what to do with because we didn't have our pirate costume then. Loop back around to this side, switch to the pirate, and glide on over. Just a quick way of getting between the two sides, doesn't lead us anywhere new. But we have cleared out the first area, the Grubbin area. We've brought the Grubbin Elder and the Repugiarch Elder's sister 
back together and they're in love, which they look kind of creepy. Speaking of creepy, giant statue of Araxia here. Dude, you are full of yourself. But we've, because we brought them back together, he opened up the gate for us. So, next time, we're going to head on further to Repugia and hopefully recruit some more people for the revolution and end Araxia's rule. If you've enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe, and feel free to follow me on Twitter. See you guys next time.